Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of John Baptista Reamer, um, missing since March 27th or 28th, 1994, from Helena, Montana. He was only 25 years old. That's at 11, uh, about 180 pounds. And... He was initially reported missing April 4th, but last I contact March 28th, his girlfriend from Three Forks, Montana, dropped him off at his apartment uh, the day before. He had spent the weekend with her and their young son. She claimed there was an unknown male at his apartment when she dropped him off. The next morning, the girlfriend and surrogate mother both claimed to have spoken to him on the phone before he left for class. At Carroll College, the neighbor remembered seeing him on the night of the 27th, but he didn't come over for breakfast the next morning as planned, so he could have been missing the 27th. Personal belongings, including his wallet, bicycle, and school books were left behind, and his vehicle remained parked outside the apartment. His favorite cowboy hat was missing. He had brown hair and brown eyes. And he may have been wearing the cowboy hat. Um, if you have any information whatsoever, please contact authorities at Helena Police Department, 406 447 8479. That's 406 447 8479. Or maybe you could email them, mail them a letter, or anything. Uh, maybe you contacted them years ago and they didn't, you don't feel like they took the notes of the information you gave them properly, or you feel like it's gone through investigator after investigator and you're not sure if they have it. Maybe you didn't feel like the information you had was relevant or important at the time, but now you're not sure. And now you'd like to, them to have the information just in case they decide it might be relevant or important to solving the case to finding out what happened to him. It sounded like he was a good man. He had a girlfriend and he was going to college. So, and here's some John does. We have this one found in September of 2020 of Everett in Everett, Washington. Uh, age 22 to 43. Estimated year of death was anywhere from 1989 to 2019, so it could be almost anybody. Skeletal remains were found in a wooded area of South Everett. This is really far from where he went missing. Um, and this is the image that they have, although I'm not sure. Let's see if they know the color of the hair and eyes. Um, unknown hair color. Unknown eye color, so so it could be white, Caucasian, Indian, Native, Hispanic, and that person was how tall? Uh, five foot three to five foot nine, and he was five foot eleven, but I thought it had a similar look to him, so I don't know. And then we have this man all the way in Penny Pines, California, found November 13th, 1994, 5'11", 175 pounds, estimated date of death was about a month prior, um, or estimated PMI was a month, so I don't know. Was found in a mountainous canyon pond floating in shallow water, dressed in hiking shorts and tennis shoes, other personal property was found with him. And it is believed he fell higher up and washed down during some rains. No identification was established and no missing persons were matched. He did have a pack of marble cigarettes in his pocket. His head was shaved. Why would... So, I don't know. Uh, and that's pretty far away as well. And this John Doe is also really far away. Uh, Sun Valley, California, found 2017. Estimated year of death, 1958 to 2008. Estimated height, 5'10", about 23 to 45 years old is the age. Um, a transient was walking along a hillside. He found a barrel. The barrel appeared to have been burned, so there was a mess of fire that engulfed the immediate area. In 2017, the transient opened the lid and saw what appeared to be bones and called 911. The barrel was recovered from the hillside and transported to the 
corner, the skeleton is a male with pretty robust muscles. Um, anyway, nobody has any idea what was happening to him or who he was with, and you would think somebody would know something. So if you have any information, please contact authorities. Don't forget to pray for his family and his loved ones. Uh, feel free to leave comments, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.